Tonight, a Shaker Heights police officer who is leaving his job is now fighting to keep his canine partner, even offering the city $10,000 for the six and a half year old German Shepherd. But the city continues to say no. Our crime and justice correspondent Lydia Spara has more. Almost immediately, there was a connection between Igor and his handler, Chad Hagen. They've been together since he was one year old. And there is the saying, a dog picks its owner. Well, this is certainly that case, says Hagen's wife, Danielle. Igor has only listened to Chad his entire life. You know, that's his only known handler. Both the dog and his handler have been working for the Shaker Heights Police Department. But Hagen is moving on to another cop shop. And he would like to take the German Shepherd with him as his pet and keep Igor alongside their other dog, Otto. His um, request to purchase Igor was denied. He offered $10,000 and was told that no financial amount will be considered. Under Shaker Heights city laws, the city administration has no authority to sell the dog. A city police officer who leaves the city's canine unit while the police dog assigned to the officer is still fit for duty forfeits the right to purchase the animal under this section. They say that he still has workability and, you know, I understand, but at six and a half, what does he have? Maybe a year, a year and a half max would be probably two years. The chief of police offered Hagen the option to stay two more years, but Hagen declined. Hagen also says there is staff willing to train a new dog for free if Igor is allowed to leave. Instead, Igor was surrendered to this boarding kennel on November 29th. Since the story first broke, Igor's plight has exploded on social media. On Facebook, there is a Bring Canine Igor Home. On the city's Facebook page, comment after comment in favor of the German pooch. Then there is also a GoFundMe page, none of which Hagen has any part of. She so appreciates the support for her husband, but in the end, it's about the connection between Chad and Igor. She says the longer they are apart, Igor's loving spirit is breaking, which will make it hard for another trainer to handle. I'm sure he's suffering not being with Chad. Yeah, absolutely. The Igor and Chad are best friends. They do everything together. They are together 24-7. You know, he's with his dog more than he is with me or his daughter. So the question everyone has is what's to become of Igor? He remains here at the kennel in Parma for nearly two weeks. In Parma, Lydia Aspara, 3 News. All right, Lydia, thank you.